you can get a full page of stickers, no registration marks, using the Curio 2, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success, and I do hope that you're going to join our little community. We would absolutely love to have you. The reason that this is possible on the Curio 2 is because there's a very specific spot where you set your adhesive mat, and it does not move. We're going to create some calibration squares to make sure that it is cutting in the right spot. We're going to adjust our mat and then see if we can reuse that same mat over and over again to get the results that we need. I brought in this sticker file from Creative Fabrica and I set my page up so that the stickers covered the entire print area. And then I created an offset around each one. I did group the offset and the sticker together so that when I went to the send panel, I could select all of the stickers and choose cut edge. Now I have my page set up so that it will do a die cut on these stickers. My blade depth is set to four, force of 14 with two passes. And we are working on the Curio 2. Now, typically when you are doing stickers, you want to turn on the registration marks and you could see that we would lose quite a bit of our stickers doing that. Everything would have to be within this red cut border and we could squish them in a little bit more, but we would lose some of them. This way we are going to make use of the entire page of stickers. Now on the Curio 2, because you set your mat in the same spot every time and it does not move, we are able to get a better idea of where we need to place our sticker sheet in order for it to cut accurately. In theory, you should be able to set your sticker page right in the corner of the adhesive of the mat and it should cut properly from there. However, I found that that is not quite the case. So what I did was I made a bunch of squares and I printed them out on a piece of cardstock and then I set this on my adhesive mat where it should logically be. Now I'm going to select just the first square and set that to cut. All of the rest of them are set to no cut. We're going to click on send and then send again. The Curio 2 is going to go through and do the automatic height detection for the material. Then it is going to adjust the blade and it will cut out that first square and we can see how far off it actually is. Now you want to print this out on cardstock because you are going to have to remove it in order to get this done right. Copy paper will just be shredded in this process. Now you can see that the cut was definitely off. It cut too low and the sides were just off slightly. We can take this square, flip it around and put it at the edge of the grid and use that as a measurement for how far down we need to bring our paper. I did slide it over just slightly and we can give this another try. The second cut lined up perfectly on the sides and it needed to come down just a little bit. And honestly, I could have left it alone at the second square and put my sticker paper on, but I wanted to get it just right. So let's go ahead and readjust the paper a little bit and cut out the third square. I'm not sure what I did with the third attempt, but it was almost as far off as the first attempt. The fourth square did come out absolutely perfect. So this is what we're going with. So now we're going to move on to marking where we should set our paper to print and cut. I'm simply going to frame out the corners with masking tape. I'm just going to do the bottom two and the upper right hand side. The upper left hand corner is a little bit hard to get to and it's really not necessary. 
At this point, we can pull up the sheet that had our calibration squares on it and set our sticker sheet down in the spot that we marked out. I'm not going to lie, I really was holding my breath here, but the machine started cutting and I could tell that if it wasn't exact, it was pretty close. Once these have finished cutting out, we are going to check the accuracy on them and then we are going to remove the mat completely. We're going to set the mat back in place. We're going to leave our little registration marks alone. We're going to set the mat back in place and see if we can set it in the same exact spot so that we don't have to go through the calibration next time. We can just save this mat for our print and cut mat. These are not perfect, but they are super, super close. I think they're close enough to go on to the next part of our experiment. Let's get this mat up off of the debris tray, and then we'll set it back down using the notches at the top. Now for the moment of truth, is this going to work or is it not? I think that these look great. Again, they are not perfect, but neither is using the registration marks sometimes. I'm going to say that the more time you put into using those calibration squares and getting the cut exact on those, the better your results are going to be. And if you frame your page up properly, you are going to be able to use this mat over and over again. You can lift it up off the tray, do another project, bring the mat back on, set it in place and use it again. This is going to save you time and of course it's going to save you sticker paper material. If this information has been helpful, please hit the like button. It helps me out a ton and it pushes this video out into the YouTube universe so other people can find it. And you can check out this video next or go create something amazing and I'll see you in the next video.